the light on so you can see. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like that. But here's the thing about this Batman. Okay. Like, he was supposed to be, like, emo, right? Like, oh, my parents, you know, not, not making fun of the fact that he's an orphan, but he was like, yeah. my parents are dead, I'm so sad, yeah. I wear makeup, and I'm always sullen. Like, the thing about Batman that makes him so appealing to people is that he doesn't really wear a disguise, right? So what exactly. actually disguises him, besides that he deepens his voice... Is which the, he did halfway which he, he kind of did like he really didn't do it in the beginning it was almost like somebody was like hey you might need hey work. batman bruce i mean batman <laughs> <laughs> you might want to switch it up but no it was like he he's the playboy yeah to everybody yeah so no one would sit there and think oh this you know this guy's just irresponsible he's just rich and he just exactly. like you know Throw tosses off his money always with the girl. So and that's the thing about Batman. He always played his role. Right. Too. But this guy, he's like, oh. He's like, I'm not Bruce. I don't go. I'm upset. I'm a recluse. I'm a literal <laughs> bat. You saw the joke that Zoe Kravitz made? I live in a cave. Like, it was <laughs> like, okay. okay. Wait a minute, that was Zoe Kravitz? Yeah, that was Zoe Kravitz. So I, uh, you don't Commissioner think she looked like Lisa Bonet? So Commissioner Gordon? No, oh, I mean no, no, the girl. Oh yeah, okay. Catwoman. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That's Zoe Kravitz. Oh okay. She I looked am. like Denise from Hillman. A little bit. You didn't. You did not see Lisa Bonet looking at that Just girl. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now that you mentioned it, but at the time, I, I wasn't thinking about. It. Know. It's like so he's not a playboy. So he walks around sullen with an emotionless voice. You know what I'm saying? He looking all greasy. Yeah. In the movie, but I. Uh, to me, they would still have figured out that was Batman. He was looking like he he look he was looking like he ain't took no job. Oh my god, he looks so. Cause when uh, Alfred was like, "Hey, put some clothes on. The the accountants are coming or whatever," and like he supposedly he was putting on his clothes. I was like, "He ain't showing." <laughs> <laughs> he still had, up good at he, still, he still had dirt all over. The whole thing is joking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not mad at it being like a emo Batman. I'm not mad at that because I feel like when he got the realization that first of all, let's talk about his dad, right? Yeah. So his dad was running for mayor, and then the Falcone guy assat killed him, right? He said he felt like Falcone killed him, yeah. but he asked Falcone to get to teach that reporter. That was going to uncover the secrets about his wife's life a lesson yeah right he, said he wanted to scare him he wanted to scare him that's what yeah. he said he said he wanted to scare him so you're telling me that a super rich billionaire goes to a mobster Thank to you. ask him to scare somebody and he had no clue that he was going to kill this man i think it was one of those situations where he seen like he see, it was like oh man i'm giving this guy a real bad idea about his father let me reel it back a little bit. No clue. Good. You think Alfred knew he, he went yeah, to Alfred get that? No, Alfred but lied. your dad, he was so cool. He gave me cufflinks. Like, <laughs> okay. All right, Alfred. Alfred okay, knew. Alfred. Alfred so no knew. And first of all, he opened in that man's mail. It said, it said for Bruce, Bruce Wayne's Wayne. eyes only. Oh, sorry, Joker. <laughs> Well. He knew he was doing wrong when he was opening it. That's why he stopped for a second. Like Looked around. Looking like somebody's mama. It Look. came to my house. Wow. I know. I oh this this my mail. I opened the mail at this house. I was like, okay. All right. I, it was just so I much. Gave stuff. You the power of attorney, Alfred. But you then know. there were like flashes in this movie of brilliance. Like what? Okay, so like that scene in the hallway where you could only see him through the gunshot lights. Yeah. That was really good. Was then the scene where he dropped down in the roof and just start fighting people and hanging them from the side of the thing. Yeah, Instead of shooting them, I was like, oh, this is Batman. Yeah, that, this that, is that Batman. Was Batman type scene, right? Yes. The but car it, chase. Yes, the car chase was really good. Came flying through, Came the, flying through the, the flames and I all that. All yes, right, of yeah. course. But you know, like, and, so, and the way they introduced the Batmobile, I was like, "Oh, yeah. is that the Batmobile?" I didn't like him riding a motorcycle. Off. I didn't either. Like, I didn't either. You know, like why are you riding this little motorcycle? I didn't either. I didn't like the motorcycle either. Like Batman never just just cruise around the city on crotch rockets. Like no, like don't say crotch rockets. What? I mean, that, that sounds nasty. 
that's what they that's what people call it. Just right. call it a motorcycle. Okay, on 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 motorcycles. <laughs> Crotch rockets. <laughs> but yeah, it was like and there were moments like that where I was like, and then like at the end, first of all, it should have ended with uh the Riddler talking to who I assume is the Joker. Yeah, it's the Joker. Joker. Okay, the guy beside me was like two faced and I was like, wait, what? What about the laugh? But anyway, like Yeah, another thing, I don't know if you noticed, like the kid at the beginning. Uh-huh. Like, I think that might have been two faced. Because only kid. half his face was painted. I don't know if you noticed that. Oh yeah. yeah. You talking about the one that was in that gang and yeah, was acting like gang. he didn't really want to be in the gang. Yeah. He was like twenty, so possibly. Yeah. He because he could grow into Yeah, because one time I was like, man, maybe that's Robin. But then I was like, nah, nah I was like, that's no, no, yeah, Robin wouldn't have been, he wouldn't have been involved in that sort of shenanigan. Now another thing, like, did you see on the poster on the outside, like Robin was on the poster. I don't know if you was he? That. Yes, Robin was on the poster. So who would have been Robin? The little kid? I, I think the so. The mayor's son? I think it's the mayor's son. The mayor's son is Robin. Because. He was on the poster, but I don't see why they would. But wait a minute, Robin Robin's whole background was that he's like a part of like the circus or something like that, right? It, it's, it's been different ones. It has been. That's like, true. You know, that's true. Some he's been, some people. Yeah, because the, the last one, Joseph Gordon Levitt, was Robin, and that was just like his real first name or something. Yeah, like so. I mean, we we we, and and that's the thing about Batman. Because you can only tell the story so many times. You can tell the story over and over and over again. You can. That's why I was like, I like the idea of emo Batman, but they just went too emo with it. Like it was just too much. But the thing is, though, is that I feel like, and I'm not trying to compare apples to oranges, but that's the difference between Marvel and DC right now. Uh huh. Because how many Superman movies have we seen? None. I'm, no, I'm talking about all um, the Superman movies. The new, the new iteration. I haven't seen any of them. No, I'm saying you haven't seen them. But I'm saying just period. oh, period. I used to watch them all the time. Yeah. Yeah. How many Batman movies? Like they've been Tons, so many, so many. But it's like how many uh, Iron Man movies have you seen? Three. Like, yeah, but I'm saying before Robert Downey Jr., how many None. were? None. Exactly. So like they told that story and they told it very detailed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like it's one of those situations where it's like. Marvel, they created their whole universe and everything, and they could do that mm -hmm. because they haven't told this story before. In depth, yeah. Yeah, it's like that was the whole beauty of the Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah. Because it's like they told that thing in depth. Yeah. So hopefully they're going to do it with this. Yeah. But the thing is that we've seen Batman so many times, it's like the whole time I was just comparing them to the Dark Knight the whole time. I was too. I was like, what about that scene where. They had the convicts on one boat and the regular exactly. people. And he was like, oh, they're going to push the button. And you were like, I was just so, like, I was daydreaming about the other Batman while I was watching this Batman. Like, this guy ain't no Christian Veil. Like, he no. good for He us. looks good in the suit, though. He cuts a good figure. He looks like a kid in a suit. He, he cuts like a, a good figure in that suit. He looks like a kid going out for Halloween. Jawline on fleek. He looks like a kid He looked Halloween. good. I thought he looked good. I thought it was good in the suit. I mean, you would. Anyway, I've never watched Twilight, so don't assume, assume that I was like some kind of Robert Pattinson fan. I've never seen. I saw him in Water. What is it? Water for Elephants. That was a good movie. He was good. But like, I, okay. In spite of all this, what would you give? What grade would you give it? I give it three and a half. Three and a half. Dang. Yeah, I give it three and a half. Why? Um. It's like. The way, so it's like like the way they introduce characters. I feel like is a uh, it's very important, and mm -hmm. I feel like they didn't introduce him as Batman. No, they didn't. That good. It's like he just randomly came walking out of the dark in a in in the subway. Well, he was doing all that talking though. It was too much talking. It was it, it was too much talk to build up. Yeah, to build up. And it's too like much. It, 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 the build up didn't equal what we actually seen. Too much talking. It's and like your introduction should be yeah on point. Batman's supposed to come in swinging. Yeah, yeah, because we know who he is. We don't need all of that other stuff. Exactly. Like we know who Batman is. You're not introducing like the Eternals with 40 characters that you've never heard of. Exactly. 
But then, okay, would you go see the next Batman movie? I mean, it ended. Like, I like the way that it ended. So, yeah, I would probably, I would probably go see it. But I'm a huge Batman guy. I yeah. think that's why I'm so disappointed. Yeah, I give it a four. I loved all the Batman movies. I've seen literally everyone except when Ben Affleck was Batman. Because I felt like they were doing a character to disservice. Like, Batman is Batman. He doesn't need a Ben Affleck yeah, for people to like him. Yeah. So, I, never, I didn't see any of those Batmans. But um, I saw, I've seen every other iteration of Batman. Back to the 90s when it was on VHS. Oh, okay. So you see the Michael Keaton Batman yeah. with all the like the the campy Batman. I think that was Tim Burton's Batman. Seen all those. Love those. The Riddler campy. in the green spandex. The campy Batman. Yeah, it was campy. Wow. It was campy. Wow. For sure. I give it a four. I'm a hundred percent going to go see the next one. Yeah, I man. A hundred million percent. And I'm gonna watch this one again when it comes out on DVD, and I have three days to watch a movie. This thing was long. Like, what's the time? Uh, like, what was the time? It started it? at 7. We only had, like, one preview for the Elvis movie. And it's now 10. What is it? 10 See? 20. It's now 1020. So, like, that was long. Yeah. I was long. We've been in the car for maybe 20 minutes. Yeah. I was long. It definitely felt like a big It was game. too long. Every time I thought we were getting ready to get up to leave, it was like, it hears Wait another save. They flooded the city. Say, yes, let's do this now. It's like, oh my god. And then that's something else. I don't like. I don't like how like they just kind of went through the resolution. Like the resolution was anti-climatic. It was. It didn't really make sense. Yeah. And then like, what's up with that whole thing about bringing the rats to life? So it was like he was walking out of the the club and uh, the guy was under the street light. So that's when he shot him. Like, yeah. That doesn't make any sense. None. <laughs> None. Like, I was like, first of all, those did, are. Did he plan that out? Like, I, what the He's just waiting in the window. <laughs> with a little pea shooter. Pew, pew. Like, I was like, okay. That, that, yeah. Okay, but it was still, it was still okay. I would not suggest anyone go see it. But. You should definitely watch it. I would have liked. I would have preferred this to come out on HBO Max. I think I would have liked it better to be able to watch it at home. Yeah, it wasn't. No. It wasn't. No. I would have liked it more if I was watching it at home. Yeah, it's not a box office. Movie. No, it's not a box office kind of movie because they didn't choose to put the action there. And we saw it in Dolby, so we saw it in the best sound and picture. Yeah. Dolby IMAX, the best quality you could Seats see that shaking. movie. Yeah, seats shaking, the recliners, and all that. But I would have preferred to have been watching it at home and pausing it and coming back to it. Because yeah. it was, first of all, it would have made the fact that it was so long more sufferable. I could have just watched that. How naked. Okay. All right. The end. <laughs>